All right, Shalom, Wong, Shalom, Wong. It's Brother Atazadak here of Israel. I'd like to start off by giving all honor and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Kakwadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles, Great Millstone. This is Deuteronomy chapter 3, right, going into the Hebrew. All right, let's get right into it. Lord willing, you're edified, right? Um, was today I'm going to use the app called uh, Safaria, right? Uh, which gives you um, an interlinear translation, right? So whatever works for you, you can kind of uh, experiment with different apps, right? For those that are uh, going into the Hebrew, right? So it's Deuteronomy chapter 3, right? Verse 1. So it says, um, Wa na pan, wa na al, the rock, habashan, right? And turned and ascended up to the way of Bashan, wayataza'a, iwag, and came out og, malak habashan, the king of Bashan, right? Lakwara, tanawa, uh, to meet us. Um, uh, so it says, Hawa he will call Imwa, Imawa, he and all his his people uh, to battle. La Malkama at Adarai, Adarai, right? Which is a, a Adre. Here it's uh, translated. Verse two, Why Amar Yahweh. Alaya al Thayara Ra'a. Right? And he said, Yahweh to me, do not fear, uh, do not fear them. Athawa. Kaya Bayadarak Salakia. Bayadaka. Right? Because in your hand, right? Nathathaya, I am given to you. Athawa. Right? Wa atha called Imawa, right, unto all his people. Wa'atha Aratazawa, right, unto his land, right? Wa'ashayath Lawa Ka'ashar, right? And you will do unto him like which uh, Ashayath, right? You did, right, because uh, uh, the thigh at the end is is uh speaking on to the children of Israel, right? The things that they had done uh to these uh uh Hamitic tribes, right, on their way into entering the uh promised land. Right? Um La Sayahan, right, to Saihan Malakha Amariya, right? Which is the uh, Amorites, the king of the Amorites Ashar Yash Yashab Bahabashan Bahash uh, Shabawan, right? Which uh, dwelt in Heshbon. Heshbon is uh, Ba meaning in uh, Hashabawan, right? That's Heshbon. Verse 3. Wayathan Yahweh Alahayanawu, right, and gave Yahweh our God into our hand, by Yad Nawa, gum, meaning even, to Og, Atha Iwag, Malak Habashan, the king of Bashan, Wa Atha called Aimawa into all his people, right, um, Wa Nakawa and smote to them, right? Wa'ad, or Salakia, Ad, Balathaya, even till there was not remaining Ha Sha'ayar uh, to them, Lawa Sha'rayad, survivor, right? Wa Nalakar, and took to all his cities, Atha called Arayawa. Right in time, by Aitha, Ha Hawa, 
right? Uh, that is, uh, la'a hayata, there was not, right? Quaraya, right? Um, um, a town, right? A shore, right? Which, la'a laquah nawa, right? Which we did not take, right? Ma atam from them Shashayim sixty uh, cities all countries right uh, city is Ayar call meeting all uh, Chabal right of Argub uh, Ma um, Ma Malakath Right, so you have Malak meaning king or to reign, right? You have uh, Malakwath, which is a, a meaning kingdom. Then you have Ma Malak Malaka, right? Meaning dominion, right? Um, so it says dominion, I walk by Bashan, right? So verbatim it says. Right, and took to all his cities in time that is, there was not a town which we did not take from them, sixty cities, all countries of Argub, uh, in the dominion of Og in Bashan, right? Call Allah, right, um, Arayim, right, all these cities, right? Batazarath fortified with forti fortified Hawama meaning wall uh, Gaba uh, um, uh, high as in height Dalathayim right da Dal right Dalath meaning door right the Yum makes it plural Wa Barayach and bars right Apart, Labad, right? Ma'araya, uh, from the cities, Ha Parazaya, right? Now that is, that means a uh, 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 hamlet, right? Or a, uh, um, a cottage, which is a smaller, smaller than a town, right? And this is also uh, denoting in, in uh, well, in a sense, it's really just an all unwalled town, right? Because of uh, paraz, right? Meaning uh, um, to break through, right? So this 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 is a town, but it could be smaller than a town, if you can understand. You can even call it a cottage, because cottage aren't really they don't have gates and and uh bars right so that that tells you in context that it is not the same as a town so we, this this we would say this means cottage because most cottages it's few few houses and and no uh no fences or anything of that sort right um so Verbatim, it would say all these cities fortified with fortified walls, very high doors and bars beside the cities, right? Um, um, beside the cities, cottages, cottages, many exceedingly, which is how Rabbah, right? Denoting a multitude, right? Ma'ad mean exceedingly, right? So there was there was towns, right? In the dominion of of Ag of Bashan, right? Which was uh, sixty, right? They were fortified, right? They had walls very high, gates and bars, doors and gates, right? Uh, beside, right? What was on the outside? Of those uh, on the on the uh, outer, um, how do you say it? Vicinity, 
right? You had cottages, right? Many, it says, exceedingly, right? So not only did Aga Bashan, his dominion, had 60 cities fortified, you know, the whole shebang, you also had cottages all around, like, exceedingly, right? Because they're Hamitic tribes, right? There's, right? You still go to Africa, there's many, 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 right? A whole continent of the land of Ham, right? So that makes sense, right? Verse 6, Wana Haram, Atham, Ka'ashar, right? So that word Haram means to ban, it means to devote to destruction, right? But it is also a derivative of Harab, meaning sword, right? So it means, in a sense, right here, right? It's it, it's a combination of the word Harab and Aram. Aram meaning to to lift up, right? Harab means sword, right? So what did uh, the Israelites do, right? They lifted up the sword to them, which is how you will read this in this context, right? Like which uh, we had done, Ka'ashar Ashayanawu, to Sihon Sayachan, Malak Habashan, to Sihon, the king of Heshbon, right? Ha Haram, right? Um, lifting up sword to all their cities, call Ayar Matam, right? All the cities of them, right? Um, ha Nashayim, right? Women, Wahatap, and infants. Verse, actually, let me go back and read that, right? So verbatim, it would say. And we lifted up sword to them, like which we did to Sihon, the king of Heshbon, lifting up the sword to all their cities, right? Uh, women and infants, right? Verse 7, what we'll call Habahama, right? And all uh, their beasts, right? Because literally, literally, that's what that means, right? And wash your law and, the, and pray, Right, Ha Irayim of the cities, right? Bazanawa, their spoils, Lanawa for us, right? Verbatim it says, all all their beasts and prey, uh, and the and the prey, Salaki, and all uh, beast and prey of the cities, right? Their spoils were for us, right? Wanakwach ba'aita, and took in time that is Hahawa to the land from the hand of the two kings, right? Atha Arataza Mayad Shania meaning two Malakia, right? Malak is king, Malakia is plural, kings. Ha Amaria, right? The Amorites, Ashar, Ba'abar, right, which were beyond the Jordan, Hayaradan. Manachal, right, from the brook Arnon, Salakia, even to the Mount uh, Hermon, which is Ad Har Harmawan, right, so verbatim it says, and took in time, that is, to the land from the hand of the two kings, the Amorites, which were beyond Jordan, um, from the book of, brook of Arnon until the Mount uh, Hermon. Verse 9, Tazayad Nayum, Yakwarawa, right? Sidonians, they called to it uh, Herman Syrian right so the Sidonians called to Herman Syrian Shariam in past times right Waha Amariah 
and the Amorites Quarawa Slake Yak Quarawa Lawa they call to it Shanayar right which here it says uh Sinir right so verbatim it says the Zidonians called the Herman Syrian right uh and the Amorites they called to it Sinir verse 10 all cities called Araya Ha Mayashar all cities of the plain right because right you have uh Yashar which is where you get the word right which makes up Israel Yashar Allah Yashar meaning he Ya meaning he Shar meaning prince Allah meaning power but it also means right Yashar right or or Yesharon Yashar one right the root word right for Yashar one is uprightness right um right which is uh where you get the word Asheroth from because that's denoting groves right which is not a deity there's there's they, they, these are idols they have they don't exist these are just made up these are fables imagination imaginations of men right the root for Asheroth is the same Yashar uprightness which is where you get the word uh, Bashar meaning gospel right Bashar also means flesh right Shayar meaning song right or like the small hats say they say kosh, kosher Kashar meaning acceptable that's what that's all that means right um, so yeah right just to show you uh actually we don't got to do that right so if you want to break that down right plain literally literally my of yashar of uh of um of a uh, upright of uprightness meaning right all the land is level it's 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 one it's a plane right here it's translated as table land but it just means plain right actually let's just look at that real quick Stock it. Um, standing image see what we can get from that slack yeah I pressed the wrong thing Standing image. Just gonna get right to the point. Understand. Spend too much time on that. Right or uh, Grove. Let's see what that says. Now, a Grove in the law is something, a set of trees or a pathway of trees that you would plant near an altar right now if you have if you're in a commercial district and you see trees lined up that is not a, those are not groves right specifically the law states if it's near an altar then it's a grove right um, right grove Asherah right which is uh Right, um, let's see if we can get the root for that. No, it's not going to see nothing on that. So, like, yeah, see, uh, Right. 
sure. Right. So this says uh, to be straight. This is the root. Right. Yashar. Especially of a straight way. What is a right? Upright. Erect. Right. When it comes to the firmness and, uh, and strength. Right. Uh, right. To guide, lead straight. Right. Um, right so even Bashar that's what that means Ba meaning in Shar which is Yashar in uprightness right Integ denoting um, integrity right which is why Israel was called Yeshurun right that is a uh one of the titles uh Jeshuron Shalat yeah Jeshuron right um Sharon, Bible Hub. Let's see what we can get. No, it's in Deuteronomy 33. All right. Deuteronomy, so like it. 33. Just spelled it wrong, I guess. Right, Deuteronomy thirty-three and twenty-six. I'm just gonna get to the to the uh, root word. Yeshar one, right? Yeshar meaning upright. One makes it uh, plural. Yeshuron. Uh, let's see. Uh, um, an illusion of recti rectitude or brightness. Um, let's see. Let me scroll up. See what I find there. Um, says says poetic name of Israel. Designated it under its ideal character, uh, upright one, right, which is good, leads us back to that word, Yashar, right, let's go, let's um, do Asheroth again, or Ashar. Or a grove, right? Which is all. That's all that means. Um, Slavia, Asherah. Let's just click on the uh, Phoenician goddess. A grove, right? Groves for worship. Right, sacred tr sacred trees or poles set up near an altar. Right, so that's all it is. It's an idol, but it's you know it doesn't it doesn't exist. This is just right. Um, like the Paul the Apostle said, the idol is nothing in the world. Right, they can't eat, they can't speak, they can't right, vain worship. Right. Which is what these other nations they do, right? Because it's in their spirit to be that way, reprobates, right? Um, so let's look up kosher.
or let's just put accept. We're acceptable. We'll see if we can get that. Right. Correct. So lock it. Yeah, nope, that's not it. Um, just type it in. Is the word kosher in the Bible? Eleven and seventeen. I doubt it. Let's see. we'll just move on because it's not really important but it is a word right kosher right um it's a lot kid this app is acting up <clears throat> all right deuteronomy 3 Let's see what we got right here but you get the point, right? Um, dude, Sion. All right, let's scroll down. Uh, to Mount Hermon, the Zidonians, right? Dominion King of Bashan. Right, so verse 10 says, All the cities of the plain, and all Gilead, and all Bashan, till uh, Salaka, um, Wa Adariah, and Idre, cities, Araya, Ma Malakath, Dominion, Iwag, Babashan, of King, in uh, of Og and Bashan, right? So all the cities of the plain and all Gilead and all Bashan till uh, Salka and Idre, cities of the dominion of Og and Bashan, right? Verse 11, Kaya Rakwa I walk because only uh, Og, Malaka Bashan, King of Bashan, Nasha are remaining, right? Um, Mayathar, right? Uh, uh, a remnant, right? Ha Rapaim, right? Rapaim. Hana, behold, I rush, I rushwa, right? Meaning the bed, right? Um, uh, the bed I rush, barazol, meaning uh iron. Hala, 
afar off, right? Hawa it is. Uh, ba Rabat in Rabat, right? The sons of, of Amon, the sons of the Ammonites, right? Benaya Imai one, right? The Shai Amawath, nine cubits. The Shai meaning nine, right? Araka meaning long, right? Wa Arabai and four cubits Amawath, Rahab, Rahaba. Right, but you could just say Rahab, right? The the ha is silent in a sense. Ba amath, right? Upon the cubits of a man, right? So in a sense, it's telling you the measurement of a man, not the size of a man, like some camps say, because they say that in the Book of Revelation, right, when the angel is measuring the temple. Right, it's according to the uh, measurement of an angel, which they say is about uh, 80 feet long. I mean, 80 feet in height. Right, so they're saying, right, New Jerusalem is is so and so is going to be up to the heavens, which is incorrect. Right, the cube, the measurement of a man means there's an actual measurement for cubit. I believe that's uh, from the elbow to the hand. That is a cubit. Right, but in the book of Revelation it says cubit uh, measurement of the angel because in the certain the specific account, <clears throat> for example, Revelation eleven and one, it says arise and measure the city. Right, with a uh, with a reed, right. Which the whole point is there's not an actual measurement uh, that you can actually. Um, duplicate right in these modern times right because it was never given right for us to know that mystery right that's all that means right revelation 11 and 1 right and there was given me a read like unto a rod and the angel stood saying rise and measure the temple of god and the altar and them that worship therein just like in the uh, last chapters of the book of ezekiel Right, there was an actual angel that was was given measurements, right? But there's no actual measurement of the uh, third temple recorded, right? These are all uh, in a poetic sense, right? Now, um, let's look up the word Irash, right? Which is also in the law as well, right? Go to uh, blue letter, right? And I believe that's Deuteronomy 22. I may be mistaken. 22. Uh, Salakia. Deuteronomy 22. Right, because that is where you get the word for betroth, right? Literally, that means bed partner, right? So if you're betrothed, if a woman's betrothed, she has a bed partner, which is where, you, which is why it's called. Actually, let's get that real quick. Uh, uh, but it literally means bed. But it also means a woman has a bed mate or she's taken meaning she's married because there's no such thing as a marriage in the bible sex is marriage right so when you have relations you copulate with a woman that that is your wife forever till she dies or you die or you till you divorce her which really you shouldn't be divorcing your wife right um so like, yeah, let's get that real quick uh, like, yeah. Deuteronomy 22 and 22 If a woman be found lying uh, so like, If a man be found lying with a woman 
marry to an husband, then they shall both of them die. Both the man that lay with the woman and the woman, so shalt thou put away evil, evil from Israel. Right? So back then, right, if a man was found lying with a woman that was married, then they both got to die. Like um, Kevin Gates says, right? That was Kevin Gates' impression. You got to die. Right? A little joke, right? Um, so that word, um, right? Actually, that's Bael right there. I got to get another one. Betroth, Salakia. Oh, here it is. Right? Deuteronomy 22, 23, if a damsel that is a virgin be betrothed unto a husband and a man find her in the city and lie with her, right? That word for betrothed, right? Meaning, right, she's promised unto another man, right? Is ma arash. Goes back to the, see that word yarash is given in yashar. Right, there's a little uh, re hint of that uh, uh, root word in this word as well. Right. Um, but also, um, Yarash, right, which we read in the previous uh, two chapters, right, it also means to possess. Right, when Abraham said, I have no one to give my inheritance, but this, uh, uh, but this, um, Eliezer of Damascus, right? That word for uh, uh, to inherit is yarash, or it also means right to uh, possess a take possess of a uh, of a land, right? A rush, um, um, irash, right? It's compared on to a rush, which the root is a rush. Or, right, Irash to erect to build, right, whence a bed couch with a canopy from an idea of a bedfellow, Eras in the Arabic, um, Irawas, um, Arash to espouse a woman to make a spouse. Right, so literally just means bedfellow or right literal sense, right? Non literal sense, it means bet someone that is betrothed or promised, right? For example, right, you see a woman and her father is with her, and you say, right, is she is your daughter, right, a virgin, right? Yes. Does she, does she does she have a husband you know um so he would say no la a right and then he would say arash right meaning she's promised which literally means uh betrothed uh, uh non literal sense it means betrothed but it also means literally it means bedfellow right meaning she's you, you can't have her she's she's already promised to a bedfellow to a man Right, so that's what it literally means. Right, bed fellow. But Irash, that means bed. Right. But in the modern days, it would mean betroth. Right, if you can get what I'm saying. Right, so Irash, that means bed. Arash means betroth or bed fellow. Right, meaning she's taken. Right. Let me see if there's any other words. Right, yathar. Right. That means also um, uh, an excess of something, something that remains. Right. We don't confuse it with shaar, which means remnant. Right. So if you have Right, 
uh, two apples, you sell one apple, you have left what? Your Thar, one apple. Right? It's different. Sha'ar is used in a different sense. Something that is that remains. In the sense of uh, you eat half an apple and, and remains, right? Meaning there's left over half the apple, right? So let me see if I touched on all that. So bar barazol, which just means iron, right? Tashai, that's nine, the letter nine. If you want to say ninth, it's Tashaya Aya. Right, you have Achad one, Shania two, Shalash three, um, Arabai that's four, Hamash is five, six is uh, Shash, seven is Shabai, eight is uh, um, Shama one, nine is the Shai, ten is Aishar, right. Where you say one, Achar, Shania, two, uh, three, Shalaya, Shaya, four, Rabaya, Aya, uh, five, Kamaya, Shaya, six, Shashaya, seven, Shabaya, Aya, eight, Kamaya, Shaya, nine, Tashaya, Aya, ten, Ashaya, Raya. Right? Um, And cubit, right? Right. Actually, that word arak, denoting uh, length, right? You have uh, um, um, you have height and width, right? Um, right. Or salaki, length and width. Width would be rakhab, meaning wide. Length is a rak, meaning long. Height would be kwama. Right. Now let's look up what cubit. Cubit. Um. So like, yeah, actually, I'm not gonna click on that. Cubit, right? Um, ama meaning um right. It is the mother of the arm, the forefront of the arm. Right. Uh. like yeah. Let's see, fore part of the arm, Shalak, yeah. um, so let's see, cubit. visual oh there it is all right so you see a cubit is uh 18 inches from these as you can see from the hand the tip of the of the hand to the uh, elbow right so that's all that means right um so I think that's it for that verse, right? So verbatim it would say, the king of Bashan, right? Uh, Salakia. Yeah. Because only Og, the king of Bashan, right? Remained, right? A remnant 
of the Rephaim, behold, his bed, his bed is of iron. Afar off it is, right, hala, right, that means afar off, right? If I say I'm standing afar off, it's Ahmad hala. Ahmad ya hala. I am standing afar off. It is, right, in Rabbah, the sons of Amon, right, nine cubits long and four cubits wide upon the cubit of a man, right? So four cubits wide would be, let's see, one, two, three, you know, about one, two, three, four, five, six, six feet, right? Uh, uh, six feet wide and nine feet in length, right? That's a pretty big bed, right? So they weren't giants. It wasn't the, the measurement of a man. It wasn't, okay, nine men wide and, and right, um, or, or four, four men wide and, and, and nine men long. No, right? So it says, uh, Right, nine, nine cubits, right, in length, and four cubits in width, right, wide upon the cubits of a man, right. Verse three, wa atha ha rataza hazath, right, to the land this, yarashnawa, right, uh, we possessed. Ba Aitha Ha Hawa in time that is from uh Arior meaning Ma R R Asha right um from Arior right Ashar which is upon the brook of Arnon Al Nahal Arnan Wa khatazaya, right? Khatazaya means half part por, part of a portion or it also means arrow. Or machataza means to uh to smite. Right? So it means half, right? Wa khatazaya and half of the mountain Gilead Har Hakalayad right? And its cities, Wa Arayawa, right? I have given Nathathaya, right? To uh, the Reubenites, La Raab Raawabanaya, and to the Gadites, Wa Lagadaya, right? So verbatim it says. And to the land this we possessed in time, we took possession in time, that is from Arnon, from Arior, which is beside the brook Arnon, and half of the Mount Gilead, and its cities I gave to the Reubenites and to the Gadites. Right. Verse 13. Wayathar Galead, right, and the rest of Gilead. We'll call Habashan Ma Malakath and all of Bashan uh his dominion, right? Of Iwag of Og Nathathaya I gave La Khatazaya to the half tribe Shabbat uh Hamanasha, the half tribe of Manasseh. Call Habal all country of Ha Argab, all the country of um, Argab, Lakal Ha Bashan to all of, Bash of Bashan, that is Hawa Yaquara. Um, they called right uh, the land of Rephaim, Arataza Rapayim, right. 
Um, so, verbatim it would say, and the rest of Gilead and all of Bashan, the dominion of Og, I gave to the half tribe of Manasseh and all the country of Argob to all of Bashan. That is, um, they they called the land of Rephaim. Yahayar, Yahayar, Ban Manasseh, Manash, Manasha, right? Jair, son of Manasseh, took to all the country of Argib, Lequach, Atha, called Habal, Argub, Ad Gabal, even to the border of the Jeshurites, which is a uh, uh, a clan of of the sons of Ham. You have a tribe Shabbat, and then you have Mashapach, which means a a clan within a clan, which is a smaller clan, which is a tribe uh, uh, for a tribe within a tribe, which is called a clan because it's smaller than a tribe, right? You know, so, you know, people may say like, Shalom Mashpacha, uh, which is the, uh, um, what do you call it, the Yiddish. And they say that means family. That's not what that means, right? That's, that's incorrect. When you say that, you're really saying peace clan, which doesn't make sense, right? There is no word, right, for uh, for family in Hebrew. You have house, house of, you know, Israel, right? Bayath, Maya, Sharala, right? That is what denotes a family, right? But it just means house. Right. Um so like, yeah. Wa Waha Mikathaya and the Makathites Wayakwara Atham they called to them upon its name Al Shamawa upon his name, right? To Bashan, Atha Bashan, Hawath, Yayar, Yayar, right? Hawa means um, abode, right? Which is Hawa also means Eve, right? Adam's wife, which is the root word for that is, is Chaya, meaning to live. Right, which is why uh, Eve was called the mother of all living, right? Because that's that's all it means to live or haya, haya meaning to be, right? Which is where you get the word Yahweh because it means Yah meaning He, Hawa exist, right? Um. So Jayar called to Bashan, the abode of, of Jayar, which was the son of Manasseh, right? Ad Hayawam Haza, even to today, even to today this, right? So Ya Ayar Badman, or Salakia, the verbatim it says, Jayar, the son of Manasseh, took to all the country of Argob till the border, even, or till the border of the Gishurites and of um, Maakathites and he called to it upon his name to Bashan the abode of Jair till this very day Wala Makayar to mature I gave Nathathaya to Gilead Thagalayad 
Wala Ra'awa Ra'awa Banaya to the Rubenites, Wala Gadaya, and to the Gadites, I gave Nathathaya from Gilead until the brook of Arnon, Man Galayad, Ba'ad Nahal Arnon. The Wak, which means in the mist, right? Um, right, so if you say in the midst of Fali, you say Batawak Nabal, right? Uh, the Wak, meaning in the midst of the brook, Ha Nahal, Wagabal, right, and the border, Wa'ad Yabak, and until Yabak. Hanachal Gabal, the brook which borders the sons of Amen, Benaiah Aimawan. Right? So it reads unto the Reubenites, to the Gadites, I gave from Gilead, and unto the brook of Arnon, in the midst of the brook, right? The midst of the brook, and the border of it, and even to Jabak. Which is the brook that borders upon the sons of Amon. Right? So in a sense, right? To the Reubenites, to the Gadites, they were assigned part of Gilead. Down to the brook of, uh, uh, of Arnon. Right? And and part of its border. Right? In the midst of, 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 of right? Part of, when it says in the midst of the uh, brook. That's part of its border. And the border. Until you're back. Right? Which is, uh, leads up to the boundary, right, of the Ammonites. Verse 17. Waha Araba. Waha Yeradan. Right? And to Araba. And to Jordan. Wagabal Makanarath, right? And bordering from Kanarath, which is Chinara, Chinareth, Chinareth, Wa'ad Yam, and even to the sea, right? Of Araba. To the sea, Hamalach, Yam Hamalach, Yam meaning sea, right? Malach means salt, right? Which is the modern day Dead Sea, right? So that's, if you say, right, salt, the literal word for salt is Malach, because literally that's all the Dead Sea is. It's, a, it's called the Dead Sea because it's a very high concentration of salt in that water right Tachath Ashadath right um um which is uh under the uh, lowland which is that's what Ashad means right Let's just uh, get that real quick. Deuteronomy 3. Three. So I can get right, right to that specific page. Drink some water real quick. All right. Right, so here it says slope, but let's 
look at the root lower part slope foundation lower part in essence it's lowland right it says stream but that's not what that means right let's look at the uh, it is not spring See, it says, a low place at the foot of mountains. The root of a mountain. Compare the Arabic, it says, um, sapa, right? Or sapach, uh, a root, the root of a mountain or hill. Sapach, to pour out, right? So it just means like a slope, which is in essence a mountain slope, a lowland, right? Under the lowland of Pisgah, Mazarach, from the rising of the sun, right? So it says, and uh, Ereba, and the Jordan. And bordering from uh, Sinarath and even to the Sea of Ereba, to the to the Red Sea, which is uh, um, under the lowlands of Pisgah from the rising of the sun, because that word Tachath either means under or in place, right? For example, so and so king was. And the, or took the steed of so and so king. Or it also means under. Tachath Shemayim means under the heavens. Right? Verse 18. Wa Atazawa. Right? Wa meaning an, a meaning I, Tazawa meaning command. Right? Tazawath is plural for commandments, right? So it says, and I and I commanded to you at the come by Aitha Hahawa in time that is to say La Amar Yahweh to say Yahweh your God Allah come has given unto you Nathan Lakam to the land this to possess Atha Ratza. Ha Aratza Hazath La Rashatha, right? Halatazayum, right? The root word for that is to withdraw or to draw out, right? As in the drawing out of troops or shock troops, right? Which literally it just means to draw out, right? Halatazayim, right? Those that draw it out, because it's plural, right? You will go beyond, right? Ta Aibarwa, Lapanaya, before the face of your brethren, Achayakam, the sons of Israel, Banaya Yasharala, call Banaya Chayal, all the sons of uh, might, right? Because call, it means to be sickly, but Chayal means mighty. Or is it right? Um, verse 19 Only your wives, let me read that verbatim. Right? So, verse 18 says, And I commanded you in time that is to say, Yahweh your God has given to you to the land this to possess. Right? Um, right? So they will draw, they will uh, draw out and cross over before the face, your brethren, the sons of Israel, all the sons of might. Verse 20. 
verse 19, Rekwa nashayakam watapakam, right, meaning only your women and your uh, infants, wama kwanakam, right, and your your uh, your possessions, because that's all that means. It means, kwana means to buy or to possess, right? But you can say here it's saying in the sense of your cattle or livestock. You can say either or, right? But really, it's talking about your possessions, which are, right, all their goodly things, right, in general, right, including livestock. Right, you die, Thaya. I know because possessions are much to you, Kaya Makwana, because possessions Raba much lakam to you, Yashawabwa or Yashabwa. Right, they will return right upon your cities, Ba Araya come. Which I have given to you, Ashur Nathathaya Lakam. Right, so only your wives and your infants and your possessions. Right. I um. You know, uh, so it says I know. Because possessions, you have much possessions. They will return. And upon your cities, which I have given to you, right? So verse, right? That's what it says. So only your women and your infants and your possessions, right? I know because much possessions you have, they will return upon your cities, which I have given you, right? So that's what it says. All right, this one's kind of long, right? So it says, Ad Ashar Yanayach, even which he caused thee to rest, because that's what you that's where you get the word Noah from. Nawach, it literally means to rest or to lead. Right. Uh right, which is in the law. You'll read that, you'll get to that to a certain point where the context is gonna say to lead. Right. In a sense of leading to rest, so it means both, basically. So Adashar Yanayach, even which is called these cause thee to rest, Yahweh, to your brethren, right? Like you, they will possess even them to the land, right? Meaning the Reubenites, the Gadites, they stayed on the other side of the Jordan. And I have tribe of Manasseh, but they were also to get a possession on the other side of the Jordan, the promised land, because the Lord swore that he would, that the Israelites were to inherit land, right? But the only reason, right, and that's solely because of the promise, but Reuben, Gad, and half tribe of Manasseh, they, have so, they had so much cattle that they asked Moses if they could have that other side of that land as well. And that they could stay there because it was much pasture for their cattle. Right? But Moses said, why, you know, he got pissed off and he said, why are you, why are you tempting the Lord? Because the Lord said, you're going to possess the other side of the land. But they said, you know, look, we will stay on this side. Right? But before, right, instead of before we, 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 we cross over. Right, let us build us, you know, a, a city. Right, and um, we'll leave our cattle, our children there. Right, and we'll cross over with the Israelites to fight off the Canaanites. Right, and then we'll return. Right, because that place was good for pasture. Right, <clears throat> right, la hayakam kakam la yarash wa yarash. Yarashwa, right? To your brethren, like you, they will possess even them, gum, mean even, hum, them, to the land, atha ratazah, 
which Yahweh your God has given to them. Ashar Yahweh, Allah Hayakam, Nathan Laham. Right? But I bar upon crossing to the Jordan. Hayaradan, Wa Shabbatam, and you will dwell Ayash, a man, to his possession. La Yarashatawa. Which I have given to you, Ashara Nathathai Lakam. Right? So even which I cause thee to rest, Yahweh your God, like you, right? They will possess even them to the land which Yahweh your God has given to them upon crossing over the Jordan, right? And you will dwell a man to his possession which I have given to you, right? So it says, right, we're just going to read it on the right. Until Yahweh has granted your kin a haven such as you have, they too have taken possession of that land, your God. Yahweh is assigning them beyond the Jordan. Then you may return each to his land that I have, or homestead that I have assigned to him. Right, so those were the conditions, right? Until which Yahweh your God, until which Yahweh your God calls you to rest. Cause the rest to your brethren like you and to their possessions, even them, to the land which Yahweh your God has given to them, right upon cro crossing over the Jordan. And you will rest a man to his possession which I have given uh, to you. Verse 21, Wa atha Yahweh um, Shawai um, and to Joshua I commanded Tazawayataya in time, Ba'ita that is, Hahawa. Right? To say, La Amar, a young Yaka, right? Your eyes. Have seen ha ra'a ha ra'atha to atha all which Yahweh has done your God to the two kings, right? Call Ashar Aisha Yahweh Allah Yakam La Shanaya Ha Malakim These Ha Allah So he will do Yahweh to all of the dominions right Khan meaning so he Yah Aisha he will do Yahweh to all Yahweh Lakal Ha Mamalakwath right so that means to the dominions right because if you say the kingdoms it's Ha Malakwath which to you will cross over hither Ashar Atha Ibar Shema. Do not fear. Oh, Salaki, let me read that verbatim. And to Joshua, I commanded in time that is to say, Your eyes have seen to all which Yahweh your God has done to the two kings these. So he will do Yahweh to all the dominions which you will cross over hither. La'a ta yaratham or salaki la'a ta yaraam right do not fear because Yahweh your God he will fight for you right kaya Yahweh Allah hayakam hawa ha nalakam lakam right um and I think that's it actually uh, let me see Deuteronomy 3 so like it so we can pull that up we're, we're gonna stop at verse 29 see where we're at as far as uh, 
time wise. All right. So yeah, we can do that. Um, wa atachanan, right? Because that word Khan means favor, right? And I ask favor to Yahweh, Al Yahweh, Ba'ita, in time that is, Hawa to say, Adonai Yahweh, Ata Ha Halawat. Lord Yahweh, you have begun to show, right? Because if you look at the previous video, right, call, it means to begin. As in halal, the root word is pierce, right? In the sense of beginning. You have begin, begun to show um, to your servant, Atha Ibadaka, Atha Gadalka, right? To, to your greatness and to your hand, Atha Yadaka. Strong Hazak Ha Hazak Hazakwa Right Really it's it's Kazak because the Ha is silent right to your strength strong Ha Hazak Uh which Ashar Maya meaning who Allah meaning power, who is powerful in the heavens and in the earth, Ba Shamayam Ba Ratiza, which he has done, Ashar Ya Aisha, like your doings, Ka meaning like, Ma meaning of, Aisha meaning to do, Ya Ka meaning your, you, your doings, Wa Ka Gabarthaka. And like uh, your might, Gabar means warrior, means man, it also means mighty, it means to prevail, right? Like in the uh, story of creation, the waters prevailed over the earth, right? So, so and so days, right? So verbatim it says, right, Lord God, you have begun to show uh, to your servant, to your greatness, to your hand, strong, which who is is a power in the heavens and in the earth, like thee, which he had done, like which you have done, and like your might. Ah, Abara, because you see, sometimes you you don't pronounce the ha right because it's not necessary because it's just for the scribe to describe right um right the context of the text because you have the ha in the beginning for example ha yaradan meaning the jordan so it's really you know just to get the distinction so it says ha I bar I bar a right? I didn't say ah I baraha. No, it's not what that. It's not what it says. So it means I will go beyond now, or I will cross over now. The na means now or please. And I will see ba a. Ra'a to the land good, the goodly to the land good. I thought ha rataza ha tawaba. Right, you see, I didn't say tawaba because the tawaba, the ha is, is silent. Ashar ba'ibar, which upon going beyond the Jordan, ha har the mountain. Good to Hatawab Hazah this and what to Lebanon and the Lebanon, right? Waha Lebanon, right? So Moses said, 
Um, I will cross over. I will cross over now, and I will see to the land goodly, which upon which is which is upon beyond uh, the Jordan, the mountain good, this and Lebanon. Verse twenty six. Watha Ibar, Wayatha Ibar. Right. Ahawabaya, right. Which is uh right, like I said, Ibar can be used in different senses. Right here, right? Because Ibar means beyond, but right, this means um um in the sense of uh he was uh uh right he, Moses was doing too much right so right that just means um you know the Lord was displeased with what Moses was saying because he already told him you're not gonna uh, see the promised land right So that reads, and was displeased Yahweh upon me, right? Lama, I not come, right? I not means to answer, right? Or lama, I lama, I not, right? Is a different root word, which denotes on the account, right? Or be, or right, not because, but on the account of, or for your sake. Right, but I would say on the count of you, right, because it says, come, right? So Yahweh was displeased, right, uh, on your account, while I asked and would not hear to me, Elijah, and said Yahweh to me, while you Amar Yahweh Elijah, much is to thee. Rab Laka. Do not again speak unto me, right? Al, it means to, or it also means not. In this sense, it's, it's do not. Right? Sawap, Tawasap, right? Yawasap means to add, or again, right? So the Lord is saying, do not again, Al, Tawasap. The bar Elias speak unto me, I wad any more upon the matter this, but the bar haza. Right? So verbatim it says, right? And he was displeased, Yahweh, upon me, um, on your account, and would not hear to me. And he said, Yahweh, to me, much as to thee, do not again speak unto me any more upon this matter. Right? Or upon the matter of this, you know, because I'm reading it as the Hebrew is written. Alright, we got uh, two more verses. Ayla Ra'ash Hapaska. Right, ascend up to the summit, Pisgah. Right, because Ra'ash means head, but it also means summit. Right? Washa'a Ayanyaka. Right, lift up your eyes, uh, Yama. Right, it means Yam means sea, but it also means west because on that region of the earth, right, the sea was vast because that was right the, 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 uh, the uh, easternmost part of the earth, right. Watazapan, Watazapana, right, and to the north, Wa Thayamana, and to the uh, south, Wa Mazarach, and to the east, to the rising of the sun, right, because east is Kodam, right, Wa Ra'a, and see. Right, ba a upon your eyes, 
Kaya la'a, because you will not go beyond the Jordan. Ta'aybar, atha'ha yaradan, haza, this. Right? This meaning za, za'aha. Ta'aha in the beginning is just to give it context. That is not the whole word. Right? So ascend up to the uh, summit of Pisgah and lift up your eyes to the west, to the north, to the south, and to the, from the rising of the sun. And see with your eyes because you will not cross over to the Jordan this. Wa Tazawa Atha Yahawashai and command to Joshua. Right. Um Wa Hazakawa Right and strengthen and encourage right Wa Amatazawa right and strengthen right so Chazak means strong but it also means right to encourage right because here it says on the translation on the right it says strength and courage well no that's not right right Chazak actually denotes courage more than Amataz because Amataz means to strengthen right Chazak right means to be strong right so it actually should read right with cur with courage and strengthen him encourage him and strengthen him Kayahawa because he he will cross over before your face before the face of the people ya ibar lapanaya ha haam haza this wahawa and he he will uh, inherit uh, he will inherit to them right Nachayel Ya Nachayel meaning he will cause them to inherit Atham to the land which you see Atha Arataza Ashar Thara'a right so verbatim it says, and command to Joshua and encourage him and strengthen him because he, he will go beyond before the face of the people, right? Or he will cross over before the face of the people with this and he will cause to inherit to them, to the land which you see, right? Wanasha Bagaya Mawa'al Bayath Payar right and we dwelt right in the valley uh, from upon the uh, Beth Peor right so you have two instances of valley right and that's the last verse right you have literal you have uh, let's see valley Right, when you have different valleys, right? You have greater valleys, you have less valleys. You have deep valleys, and you have, right, valleys that are not really—they're just smaller valleys. If for if you can understand, but quiet, right? This is what you would call, right? Let's look at it. A valley, right? This is like a, a why a deep valley, right? Bakwaya, and then you have Gaia, which is a smaller valley, right? And I can prove that, right? Different type of valleys, right? Like so you have V-shaped valley, river valley, fat, flat floored valley, U-shaped valley, glacier valley, right? 
this one here. All right, I'm just gonna uh, show you the difference. This is a steep valley. This is a Bacquaya, right? This one not so steep is uh, Gaia, right? And so there's a difference. This is Gaia, right? Um, and this one looks a little more steep, right? Bacquaya. This is Bacquaya. Right, this is something you can't just walk through, right? That's how you know the difference. And this is Gaia, because this is not really that steep. You can you can kind of you know trek on that. Right. So that's uh Deuteronomy 23, right? The Lord winning you ratified, this brother Atazadak Hero of Israel, giving the honor and glory to Yahweh by Shimmy Al Shai. Bashim, Havraqa, Kodash, double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Kwame Asharala, Abad Babal, and Shalawami.